Hey guys, welcome back to the Everlast YouTube channel. I'm Brian Legalio, and today we're gonna do a tip on welding a bung. Yeah, welding a bung on a downpipe. Let's get in it. So this is a mid-pipe downpipe for a 3000 DT. I don't know the car, I haven't seen the project, but this is what was what ended up on my bench. Uh, I need to weld this O2 bung first, or at least tack it up before I do any other modifications to this system. But there's a lot of problems when people run weld bungs because it, it's a somewhat of a fillet weld, or it is a fillet weld. A lot of people do not run a back purge. Um, I assure you this needs a back purge. When you weld on stainless steel, it is a semi-reactive metal that reacts with atmosphere at elevated temperatures. And by not welding or not using a back purge, you compromise the material. When people use stainless steel, they use it for a reason, for corrosion or whatever, so we have to treat the material appropriately. Next thing is I'm doing, it's probably 065 wall to, I don't know, 3 16 thick bung. They're gonna have different expansion, cooling and expansion rates. So I'm gonna have to address that in my welding. So I'm gonna back purge it and I have a picture of a failed O2 bung. And you'll see how it cracks at the toe of the weld all the way around. And this is from expansion and contraction of two different thicknesses. Stainless steel moves. And during their welding process, because they did not back purge, and I can almost guarantee you from only seeing this side of the weld, they made the internal brittle. Expansion and contraction will crack this over time. Let's just not add on to it with the way we weld it. Let's do it properly so these the customer has this product as long as possible. And, you know, your name's on it. So here's are some of the things I'm going to be using. I'm going to use 045 filler, two high, temp, uh, high temperature silicone plugs um, with a purge port on it. I'm going to use a number 15 cup and when I do stainless steel and I, I do thinner stuff like this I like to use a 16th tungsten. That's personal preference, not necessary. Um, some people just elongate a point on a 332. I am running E3. Uh, it's just what I have on, on hand. Not really particular long as it's uh, as far as tungsten types. I'm not really particular unless it's pure tungsten. Just don't ever use pure tungsten for anything in my opinion. Um, so let me get started. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to weld it. No matter how clean it looks, like this is super shiny. Every time I see this sh super shiny, like it's probably Chinese stuff. Uh, I want to, I want to scotch bright the weld area. Um, I don't know what they do to it, but the puddle kind of acts funny. So this will stabilize my puddle, give me more consistent results. So when I talk about high polish, this is what I see like from Amazon and it just doesn't have always the best results. And then this is what I buy. You know, it's mill finish. You can polish it when you're done or you can polish it before, but it welds beautifully. All right, now that I have everything cleaned, I got the purge going on it. And now I'm gonna start tacking it up. On these, these high spots, um, I'm going to want to try to do a flesh tack or a small tack as possible. Alright, so I have both sides tacked up at the peak. I'm going to put a couple right here at the deepest part because this isn't a saddled bung. This is just a uh, straight one that doesn't, you know, follow the contour of the pipe. I'm going to put about three dabs of metal or filler right here in the middle. So as I come from this tack, I hit that. I don't have to sit, sit there and fill more metal into it than I have to. It'll kind of be like a little pillow for me to walk into. Soften it up a little bit. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna try to quarter it to keep it from moving on me. All right, guys, so that is welding a bung. Um, you know, it really became more about stainless steel, but I hope this helps on. 
you never know what's going to run across your uh, your bench, and there's a lot of things you don't have control of. So you got to make the best out of what you have. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Weld mean well green. Till next time. Thank you guys. See ya.